pleasant intro music. And um, the in introductory music is actually made with the sounds from the game. So, and this is a playable song in the game. We have a chart for this, uh, this song. If you want to attempt it, it's actually very difficult. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and set this to the right state and walk through the instruments real quick. So here's the list of the, all the instruments that we had implemented. Um, and Jared's going to talk about how the instruments are actually implemented while I demonstrate. Yeah. So first we'll show you drums. Um, for most of your, of your instruments, uh, you hold the nunchuck in one hand and the Wiimote in the other. Um, for the drums, you basically hit down to make a sound. Um, each, you have uh, different combinations of the buttons. With the A button on the Wiimote, you get one sound. Uh, without the A button, you kind of get a snare drum. With the B button, you get another. And with the A and B, you get another sound. Then on the nunchuck, same thing, no buttons, this is a bass drum. C is one sound, Z is another, and so on and so forth. Uh, for the violin, um, the violin, you instantiate a note. You play a note by going back and forth. So going forward is one, going back is another. On the, on the nunchuck, you use the thumbstick, uh, and you kind of place it in the one of eight positions. <coughs> It plays a different note depending upon the position. The C and Z buttons will change the octave. Um, the bass, uh, the double bass, does the same controls. It's just basically a lower set of sounds. The guitar is played by strumming in a downward motion. Um, originally we had done down and up, but up is, a, is natural and you kind of want to, you kind of tend to bring yourself back up anyway at the wrong time. So, uh, with the nunchuck, you control which chord you play. Uh, up is one chord, left and right is another chord. So you have three chords that way and then you can change um, to a different set by holding down the C button and then like a, what should we call it? A Some modified set, versions yeah. of the chords by, by like, yeah. doing Z. So you have the C and Z set and just the Z set. And then we have uh, the trombone, which uses the IR setup. Uh, the first thing I guess you really want to do when you play a trombone is uh, some calibration. You hold it at your close position and hit one. You hold it at the far position and hit two. It, it maps out uh, in that range seven different notes. It shows you on screen which one to play that note, you hit the A button. So you move it in and out to choose your different notes. You can see the slide moves on the screen to show you which position you're in so that you get some visual feedback. And lastly, and the theremin. Uh, the theremin also uses the IR sensor. You, moving the Wiimote changes the pitch of the note, and the nunchuck in the upright position is full volume all the way to the either side is no volume. So you can change your volume as a no real theremin with one hand and your pitch with the other hand. So now uh, we're going to reboot here, and uh, well, not reboot the machine, but reboot the Dennis. program. And Andrew and Miko have so kindly volunteered <laughs> to help us demonstrate the guided uh, play. Yeah. Okay. So you can play with up to four players. So we're going to demonstrate with four. I have nunchucks for you. Uh, I'll play. I already did. Okay, I have a nunchuck for you. Yes. Okay. So we're going to run uh, through plug it in. Okay. two songs real quick. We'll start with just uh, something that everybody's familiar with, which is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, and so we get a screen here where everybody can select which instrument they want. And this uh, song is arranged for four uh, distinct instruments. So after, for instance, right now we can select between uh, dr drums, violin, guitar, and or bass. bass.
but as soon as uh, Miko or Andrew decides which instrument they would like to play, okay, you'll notice that now the drums are grayed out so that I can't select the drums. So each person gets assigned one instrument. So I'm going to pick the violin here, and uh, Jared will attempt the bass part, okay? And what you'll see is you're guided by symbols that show you what to play. Um, uh, we'll try this here. So this is all, you notice there was a player score on the top, and this is all those player scores added together, um, plus the group bonuses that we talked about for playing um, uh, interesting notes. And now we wanted to do a song that's actually a real song rather than a kid's song for you. And um, maybe some of you are Cindy Lauper fans and will recognize this one. And uh, so we're going to attempt this I'm one. Not, this is, I have to play this one. No, I have to play violin on this one. Andrew, do you want to put, try the bass? Okay, so this is actually a bit more challenging, so it may not sound as nice as that last one. That last one, that last one was designed to be easy. This one isn't quite as easy. That was a little rougher because it was challenging, but uh, you know that's part of the game is you have to practice and improve. Uh, and theoretically, if you played that, it's, it's, you know it sounds really nice. So, thank you. Um, thank you. That's our presentation. Uh, <laughs>